Good afternoon, Tagonites, and anyone else who might be watching this. If you don't know me, I'm Sarah Matthews, and this is going to be my video blog for the Tag Service Project. When Mr. Haskey first assigned this individual service project, my initial reaction was, Oh my god, I have to do this all by myself. What am I going to do? Everything's on fire and we're all going to die. <gasps> Hold me, mommy. But after I got over my brief melodrama, I had an epiphany, which was approximately five minutes after he assigned it. My epiphanies come fast. I was thinking about something I could do that could relate to Elegance of the Hedgehog and possibly some of the other texts that we've been reading. In Elegance, Renee always puts an emphasis on the importance of art. And so I thought, what can I do involving art? This also relates to Paloma's issue with all of her classmates and how they're completely obsessed with their lives and their popularity and they're not really into anything constructive, they're just kind of living, and according to her, they already have their future determined by the way they act now. Not sure if I would agree with her because she's a little bit pretentious, but I understand where she's coming from. They're not really doing anything to create, they're kind of just existing now, and that's not the way to live. And to relate this to Taylor Molly's Like You Know, this generation really is aggressively inarticulate, and I think Part of that has to do with the absence of art and music and culture in our lives. We're so obsessed with our technology and our texting and Twitter and all that that we don't know how to hold a real conversation. And if people could be brought together and actually interact with each other face to face because of art and music, then that would be absolutely wonderful. So I wanted to do something to try to reach out to people in my generation and younger than that, get people involved in art and get a bunch of people together so they could all interact. And then I had my epiphany. I originally wanted to have an art show for youth and teenagers, meaning ages 0 through 18. That's kind of a broad range, but I wanted to get everybody involved. So I messaged my friend Colin on Facebook, who owns a store in the south end of St. Joseph called Artifacts, because she often plans art shows and different workshops, and I thought that she might be able to help me figure out something to do. She then informed me that she's already having an art show on September 18th, and would like to focus on functional art, meaning things that people can actually pick up and look at instead of just staring at on a wall. She asked me if I could put together a book of writing, such as poetry, short stories, etc., and different art, like drawings, photography, various other types of art, created by people from my school, and I said, of course I can do that. So that book will be created by me, with the help of my artsy classmates and other people I can recruit, and that will be presented at the September 18th art show down at Artifacts. But that is only part one of this project. I was then informed after hearing about the September 18th art show that there is another event in the works happening the weekend after that called a community play date. The idea for that is to get kids making crafts and art, learning about art, having their parents learn about art so they can help them get involved in that. And it would just be this huge event, get the entire community involved, and that's just kind of in the works. It had been discussed, and so I have been asked to organize this event. Being the ambitious person that I am, I agreed to do that in addition to creating a literary magazine for the September 18th art show. So, what I am doing for my service project is creating a literary magazine with works from people around my school and anybody else my age range who wants to contribute. And I am organizing the community play date for youth in St. Joseph and anyone else who wants to come. So this is all I have right now. I'm going to discuss things with Colin. We will figure stuff out. But I am super excited, and I hope this can be an amazing experience. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will be back.